Hey everyone, I'm back just outside Embouchard Mine with Sven. I've just completed the tutorial and purchased some stuff around Riverwood, so we'll go inside and try out our new skills. But first, I'll level up from some of the experience I got from in the tutorial. Put my points into Magicka, and at the moment my um, highest cost spell, um, Raise Dead, is in the Conjuration skill tree. S so I'll chuck my perk in here. So because I don't have a um, damaging option at the moment, because all my damage later on is going to come from Vampire Lord Melee and the Blood Drain ability, I'm going to pick up a Bound Sword, just to level a little bit, and, um, and level up my Conjuration as well. Other than that, at the moment, I've got the basic healing spell, the basic fury spell, and raise dead. I don't think I like Zombie, this rather. So I've just leveled up again, so check another point in Magicka, because why not? And I'll put my next point into Illusion. Nothing particularly amazing in here, but hopefully we'll find some better stuff later on. Now, where's that guy I just killed? Got a bit of chaos going, and now Sven's cleaning all of them up. I think this is the general sort of play style I'm going for later on, just with different methods. <laughs> So I'll go and pick up all the treasure in here. I can sell that later to buy some more spell tones, hopefully. 
because usually when I'm playing a build, I've got a sort of mental list of short and long-term goals. So at the moment, my short sort of short-term goals are to learn more spells, particularly in the Fury, Fear, and Summoning departments, become a vampire, reach level 10 so I can become a vampire lord at the start of the Dawnguard questline, as well as learn some more shouts by starting the main quest. So that's the sort of stuff I could have done by, say, level 10 or 15. And my sort of, some of my long-term goals are to master the Vampire Lord form, as well as get their gear from the Vampire Lord quests, kill my rival Dragon Priests to collect their masks, um, get control of some dragons from the Dawn Guard questline and the main quest, as well as do the College of Winterhold questline so I can grab my Jill Stone, some mage gear, as well as the Equilibrium spell, which I imagine will come in handy later down the track once my... Um, once my vampire blood drains, draining quite a bit of energy. So I've made it to just outside Shroudhearth Barrow, where I plan to become a vampire. And I was attacked by this thief, so I think I'll raise him just before I go inside. Sh Shriekwind Bastion, rather. I played Skyrim for about a year, so rusty with the names. As you can no doubt see with both a uh, bound sword and um, um, necromancy spell, conjuration levels extremely quickly. Another benefit of going melee for the start of my playthrough is it does get my heavy armor skill up a bit, because I imagine once I switch over to ranged completely I won't be getting hit a lot, which is kind of the point.
I did just crash briefly there, but um, back to where I was up to, and I was going to go back and raise this um, thrall as a zombie in case I might need them up ahead. raise zombie while you're in combat. I'm pretty sure that increases your conjuration skill of itself. the master vampires behind this door, so I'm going to try and keep them at range so they use their blood drain attack and kill me. <laughs> I did save shortly earlier, so we'll give that another try. Because I want to keep them at far enough range that they use their blood drain attack, but don't kill me because there's a chance for them to get across there. Not a chance for me to contract vampirism rather every time they activate the attack. There it is, but I just died straight away, so... Over here! Alright, got it straight away that time, so... Try and escape out of here and maybe see if I can get to a more advantageous position. This is your last mistake. Fortunately, I've got a level up up my sleeve, so I think I might put this one into health, because I did drop pretty low a few times in that dungeon. And I've got two, actually, so I'll put that one into Magicka. Three? Alright then. <laughs> Alright, so I'll chuck one in Office Restoration. Might as well put one in Heavy Armor. And I think I'll put one in Apprentice Conjuration so I can get Flame Atronox. Unfortunately, the AI can't follow me down that route. So, I'm on my way over to the Atronach Stone now, and my vampiric powers have just awakened. 
So I've ra run into some some of the bandits over here at Daltheim Towers, but I'll see if I can hit some of them with the spells while Sven cleans them off. But that's the wrong target. I'll hold on to this perk for now. Try and bait them inside here. few more bandits left, so I'll see if I can bring this bandit along to help me out. While I go and pillage all the treasure. Just reached the Atronach stone, and I'm already level 7 after all of that. So, in this episode we've seen, sort of, how I s make sure I've got the sort of setup going early on. So in my current state, I've got my follower, some good starting gear, or reasonably good starting gear, as well as a bunch of um, low-level spells that I can use to start building up my skills. So after this, I think I'm going to head up to the College of Winterhold and start training in magic, getting some good items, and after a few quests there, I think I'll be high enough level to go and start Dawnguard and become a Vampire Lord, which is where we can really get into things. I'll see you guys next time.